So I have my cell suspension made over here on the left, and what I'm going to do now is we're going to um, add the reagents first so that you know that they're there, and then you continue uh, by adding the um, patient sample. So I'm inverting this and uh, each reagent first so that you know that it's mixed. And I'm going to add a drop of each reagent into into each tube. So that was anti-A, part of the forward typing. This is anti-B, which is yellow, and it's part of the forward typing as well. And there's one. And then we're going to do anti-D, which is what everyone calls the, re, um, the RH reaction. So anti-D here. One drop. I'm going to do one drop of the A1 cells, reagent cells. And if you'll look, see it's still a little off, um, but like I said, these reagents um, are expired at this point. Um, today's in June, and this was in February, uh, because they're red cells and they only last for 30 days, pretty much. So um, my red cell suspension is probably fine since these are a little off. Okay, so that's one drop of all the reagents. This was the B cells, okay? And what we're gonna do now is we're going to add the red cells, one drop of the patient suspension, red cell suspension, to each of the tubes. Okay, so only the forward typing tubes. Okay, and then we're going to take um, we're going to take the uh, plasma that we took off earlier. Let's see how nice that is, and we're going to add two drops. Now the thing that is kind of confusing is why do we add one drop of the reagents and two drops of the patient's plasma? And it's because we know um, the concentration of the elements that are in the reagents, whereas we don't know how much of an antibody is in the patient's plasma. So when we do this, we want to make sure that we get a nice, really good reaction. So adding two drops of the patient's plasma is good um, instead of just the one. So we're just trying to increase reactivity. So once you have that done, you're going to um, kind of shake them around a little bit, not too vigorously. And we're going to put them in the serifuge and spin them for 15 seconds so that we can get um, the red cells and the um, antibodies to agglutinate, the antigens on the red cell and the antibodies to agglutinate. And that way we can form a button. We're gonna shake it gently to try to break it apart and we're going to judge the reaction strength.